Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Today I'm going to show you a little tip I do for the coin boxes. What, this is an ESD coin box? And you can see someone has started to get in there and gouge away at it, try and get in there. So what I do is, just as a temporary deterrent at least, I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it off short so it goes up in there. If you look inside here, you'll see that this little plate here in front flexes in. That flexes in about uh, almost a half inch. So I can cut this and make this a half inch and screw it on there. And so from the outside, basically, you'll see this. So you go, somebody goes, oh, it's nutted up, man. Can't try and stick something in there. Can't stick a screwdriver in there to mess with it. So they move on to the next, right? So that's just my theory. And, uh... I'll probably let you know if it works or not, but, you know, it all depends on karma, right? So, uh, that's my uh, coin box commercial laundry tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, I give phone advice, $39-707-443-8347. Appreciate it. Sure. Okay, so here's the finished product. And you can see what I've done is I've rounded off the edges, so from this edge... From this side, that doesn't actually look like a complete square. It's kind of rounded off, so it's like, oh, what is that? You can round it off a little bit more. Just so you can get in there and grab it with a wrench near the end. And then you just cut it short. And it'll go in there. It looks like a big bolt stuck in there. No one's going to try and stick a screwdriver in there and mess with it. And it might save you a little trouble. May not. I mean... Somebody wants to steal quarters is going to steal quarters, but at least it's a little bit of a deterrent. Somebody goes, oh, it's nutted up, man.